The laser market is an absolute sea of products, features, variables, and price points. So how do we select one? What do we base that selection on? And what features do we need? So there are a lot of different laser types out there, but I'm gonna categorize them in two different ways. Indoor lasers and outdoor lasers. Outdoors, you have rotary lasers. Powerful due to the concentration of a laser as a singular point beam, which is rotated 360 degrees, rather than having to render an entire line. These lasers are typically used with a receiver and are far more effective than line lasers outside due to their laser strength and accuracy, which also translates into outstanding range. These lasers are far more accurate due to being electronically leveled as opposed to mechanically. Rotary lasers are your go-to when working at a distance of over 20 meters or more. These rotary lasers are perfect for use outdoors due to their range and also on projects that demand pinpoint accuracy over long distances. Here indoors, there are line and plumb dot lasers. Perfect for indoor use with various combinations of lines and dots to suit your particular needs, depending on your trade or application, of course. These lasers range from your simple cross-line laser, which are ideal for tighter areas where distance won't be a factor, to your 360 degree lasers which provide superior area coverage and have powerful batteries and laser diodes which make the laser visible over increased distances inside. The 360 degree laser has taken the biggest leap in technology over the last half a decade. It has three 360 degree lasers in the X, Y and Z axis as well as a more powerful battery and diode. The additional Z axis allows you to map out more of an area than a line laser but of course will generally cost you a bit more. These 360s are about as good as it gets. They have a few more features and are far more versatile than your simple cross-line laser or your plumb dot laser. So now you've got a fair idea of what type of laser you need based on the work you're doing, you now need to figure out what features are important to you to help you make a decision. Features and things to consider. Green or red laser? While our eyes pick up green far easier due to the light spectrum, green lasers consume more battery power and are more expensive. Some people have trouble picking up red lasers if colorblind or long-sighted. Does it have a fine adjustment dial? These really help when you're trying to get down to that last millimetre and you don't want to move the tripod. What's the tripod mounting thread? Do you currently have a tripod? Are they compatible? Does it have a lockable pendulum? You can transport it far safer as well as get different angles if it does. Accuracy, mechanically leveled which is less accurate or electronically leveled which is more accurate. Battery types. Now are they on the same platform that you've already got, or are they disposable? Maybe they've got both options. What are the recharge and run times? What accessories are in the box? What does it come with? And what do you need to get going? Are you working outside with long distances? You may need a laser that works with a receiver. Receivers are useful when the laser is no longer visible as the distance is too far. We may not be able to see the laser, but the receiver sure can. Is it just the dot laser? Does it have one axis, two, or three? So to summarize, start by picking the laser type you need based on the work you're doing, indoors or outdoors. Next, set a realistic budget based on searches on those particular types of lasers, be they indoor or outdoor lasers. And lastly, select the type of laser that's gonna help you do the job easier and more efficiently for the best price. Remember guys, there's no best laser. The best laser is the one that suits your needs for the money you're willing to spend. Maybe you just wanna hang some straight pictures on the wall. You could use this. Or maybe you're hanging ceilings, putting walls in, and doing some tiling. That's where you'd need this. Hopefully this buying guide has helped steer you in the right direction to make that decision. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I'm JC and we are Trade Tools. Bye for now. Guys, if you liked that video, please like and subscribe or put any comments or questions in the section below and we'll get right back to you.